Compared to the Parappa games, Vib Ribbon is really simple. There's no wacky story, no memorable phrases or sound cues or anything like that. It is, by design, an extremely simplistic rhythm game, both in terms of presentation and gameplay. But, like everything else from Nana Onsha, it is absolutely insane. The game plays like this. You control Vibri, this wireframe rabbit thing as she runs about a monochrome land, jumping over various obstacles. The shape of the obstacle determines which button you need to press in order to climb over it. The shapes sort of, almost, kinda match up with what buttons you need to press. You press the left trigger for the big squares, the right trigger for loops, down on the D-pad for pits, and the X button for spikes. What makes the game a lot more interesting and difficult is that it will combine two obstacles together, and this requires a lot of practice, memory, and quick thinking to make sure that you're pressing the right combinations of buttons at the right time. It might seem pretty simple when I'm explaining it, but in the heat of gameplay, it's very easy to slip up and make a wrong move. And for some reason, they decided that it would be a good idea to make the screen start shaking wildly at times. This visual distraction just makes it even harder to time the button presses correctly, and oftentimes, once you've made one mistake, you're doomed. It's like if you were playing Guitar Hero, and just as a big solo was approaching, the screen started shaking all about like crazy. Vibri starts off as this cute little rabbit thing, which speaks the menu choices to you in an electronically generated voice that mixes up almost unintelligible Japanese and English. <laughs> As you continue to make mistakes, Vibri devolves into this frog, and then an insect, and eventually it drops you out of the song. Play well, and you become Super Vibri, and you'll earn bonus points. Your points are represented by these little shapes on the top of the screen, and once you clear the course, then it translates them into actual numbers. Why it doesn't just use a number-based scoring system to begin with, I have no idea. But, on the plus side, Vibri goes mental if you get a high score. <laughs> The key to success is to stay on top of which button combinations you should be pressing at all times. It can get pretty tricky, but they do give you a nice little diagram on the back of the manual. And in true Nana on Shah fashion, the manual is a bit unlike most other ones for the PlayStation. Now, there are only three courses to play in Vib Ribbon, consisting of two songs each. The songs are pretty wacky, catchy, toe-tap and J-pop that slow down and speed up at times, and the obstacles slow down and speed up to match. So there are only six songs, or rather, there are only six songs on the Vib Ribbon disc, because the idea of this game is that it will generate courses of obstacles based on the tracks from your own CD collection. I never had much of a CD collection even before digital downloads came about and made CDs obsolete. But here's the solution. Get yourself a stack of cheap, cheap. writable CDs, burn all your music onto them, and you're ready to go. For added fun, do what I did and don't write anything on the CDs themselves. Then shuffle them all up and pick one at random. And here's where I have problems with Vib Ribbon. The way that the game generates obstacles based on your CDs is less than perfect. Now, I'm not sure exactly how it translates the songs into course data, but what happens all too often is the obstacles appear without any obvious, stable kind of synchronization to the song. And in a rhythm game, that's pretty bad. There's genuine, fun challenge to be had in seeing how the game interprets your music collection, trying to manage the beat and keep up with the changing button press requirements. But when the button presses are in sync with something other than the natural flow of the song, it gets way too difficult to keep up, and not in a good way. It doesn't help that the game is working against you visually as well, with obstacles changing speed and direction as they approach. A lot of the time, if the game and CD agree, Vib Ribbon is an enjoyable, challenging experience, but there are way too many times when I've been completely stumped as to what rhythm the game wants me to follow. So if you're just looking for a game to keep yourself occupied while you listen to music, don't place all your bets on Vib Ribbon, it's not perfect. 
the game expects a lot out of you to do well, and if you're just looking to chill out and put on a little game while you listen to something, it doesn't always work. Especially since you can't pause the game at all. It lets you try and play the entire CD in one go as well, but if you need to take a break, then you're out of luck. But when it does work, it works pretty well. And there's some great fulfillment in managing to beat a song in Vib Ribbon that you just don't get by listening to it. It's the kind of game that would work really well on iOS. You would have your music library from your iPod, and you could take it on the go, and it would probably cost less than a pound. As far as I know, there's no direct working of the Vib Ribbon system on iOS, but there is something very similar. A company named Smash Mouth Games and Jaunty Picking, the guy behind Weeble stuff, like Weeble and Bob, the Badger 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 song, you know, all those catchy little music loops that are impossible to get out of your head. Well, they made an iOS game called Russian Dancing Men, which completely rips off the Vib Ribbon gameplay structure, but you play a selection of the most memorable and catchy of picking songs. It's only 69p, so check it out. And while I'm talking about Vib Ribbon, I suppose I should mention its sequels, Moji Ribbon and Vib Ripple. These games only came out in Japan, so I don't have them. Well, I need to mod my PS2 and import them, it'd be a big hassle, maybe someday. But without playing them and having seen only bits and pieces of the games from YouTube, Moji Ribbon is about rhythmically playing along with Japanese calligraphy-based rap lyrics, which you can create yourself if you know Japanese, and Vib Ripple uses photographs that you upload to create a trampoline-based puzzle game. Well, that's about it for Vib Ribbon. If you have a wide, varied collection of music to try out, you can get a lot of play out of it, but your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching.